Today, I'd like to talk to you about a tool that you can easily make yourself that will take the hassle out of twisting strands of wire. Normally, you cut different size wire, use a stripper, and then you'll have the wires normally in a straight line, and you'll have to usually just put them in your finger and twist it around. Sometimes you've got sweat and oils on your hands and when you go to solder it, it may not stick that well. Or it mightn't do a nice easy even job but with the tool that I've made it's quite easy to do and quite simple to use. This is a spiral drill chuck or collet chuck and sometimes they're known as Archimedes spiral and it's just got a twist in the shank and you pull it forward and it spins around. So basically it does the same as what your fingers do but not as fast and not as quick as this. I've just got a bulldog clip in there, drill a 3mm hole in the bottom and just put a 3mm cap screw in there, put it in the 3mm chuck Tighten that up. I've added a little bit of plastic tubing on the outside to make the bulldog uh, clip grip. Depends on how good your bulldog clip is, you may or may not have to do that. So it's quite easy to use. I'll just show you on the use of the boot ferrule. There'll be a video on that coming up soon. So you just approximately work out the length you want to strip off. Put on your finger, pop it in the stripper, and out she comes. And normally you'll spiral that with your fingers like I said, but this time we'll just clip it on. Now depending on how you've got the wire, how thick it is, all that sort of thing, thinner the wire, you may need to hold it a bit tight. You can put your elbow on and twist it like that, but for the sake of the demonstration, we'll just put on the heavier weight to stop it from moving just clip it on towards the end and it is done so if you want it tighter and then normally when you do it it's straight there and you have the end bit still a bit furry because you've gripped it here so as you pull it off you just give it a twist and if they're not quite right you just pop it in and give it another spin and there it is perfect spiral strands you can always make them longer and cut it but keep in mind if you've got multiple wires you want to join you can put three four five six whatever you like on and spin it with that big clips you can use fishing line, thread, cotton, anything you want to make a spiral, make your own rope. If you're making little model boats or that sort of thing, you want your tiny little rope. Oh yeah, quite simple. And it's similar to what they use for doing the lock wire on aircraft. So you could use the same thing. You feed one wire through the bolt and the hole. So one wire comes through here, another wire up through there. And you then just grip it by that. So you could do your lock wiring on your little models, model aircraft, even real aircraft, your wires. As I said, quite easy to make and very versatile. Stops you from getting your greasy fingers on. Solders are great. Works great. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.